Hey everyone, it's John, and welcome to another review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing this product here. But it requires this product here to try. So, what is this? This is KD, also known as Craft Dinner. The original flavor, and of course that is a product prepared in Canada. Um, <clears throat> this that I have in my left hand is KD Flavor Boost. And this is, of course, is jalapeno flavor. And it looks better than the picture. I'll tell you that for sure. The picture just looks like someone spray painted green on the regular noodles. Um, so Kraft Dinner in the United States. It's, it's uh, marketed as Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. But Kraft Dinner was actually the original name. Um, and the Canadians just kept it while in the States they changed it over to macaroni and cheese. Um, actually in Europe, in the UK at least, it's called cheesy pasta and then like subtitled macaroni noodles with cheese sauce and it comes in a red box there. Pretty interesting. Anyway, Kraft Dinner. Uh, it's pretty much the same stuff, pretty much the same ingredients. Um, it's not 100% one to one the same ingredients that you would get in a blue box macaroni and cheese from the States. But, in order to really try the Canadian flavor boost, you know it's Canadian because of the U, I needed to get real Canadian craft dinner to mix it with. The instructions on here say to use one tablespoon of non-hydrogenated margarine and one third cup of skim milk to mix it with. That's very different than the United States one, which doesn't say margarine, it says butter. And I don't know if they say skim milk, I think they just say milk and they leave it up to you to choose what you want. Um, and I think it's two tablespoons of each, or maybe even a quarter cup of each, uh, for the United States version. And non-hydrogenated margarine, I actually have to look it up to see the actual real thing, because I just thought all margarines being they were a margarine were hydrogenated and learned a few things when margarine was first made it was uh, not hydrogenated because it was made from animal fats it was basically lard or beef tallow uh, that was slightly butter flavored um, but then they changed it to vegetable oils but in order to get the same hardness of butter it hydrogenated it made trans fats that at the time didn't know was terrible for you, but now we all know trans fats are terrible for you. Um, which is why we went back to butter being healthier, but butter is higher in saturated fats, which also isn't great, but not as bad as trans fats. Because whereas trans fats you should have absolutely zero of, uh, there's a safe amount of saturated fats you can eat in a day. Um, but this one says non hydrogenated margarine. Which I had to find out, it's a very soft version of margarine. Um, if you ever had like the parquet squeeze bottles, those are more most likely non-hydrogenated margarine. Um, also, some margarines that come in the spreadable tubs are non-hydrogenated. Uh, you can usually tell they're not hydrogenated because they're very soft compared to other butters or margarines. Um, in the United States, the only one I could find was Imperial, but when I looked it up, it said that's not the same stuff they use in Canada anyway. Um, so, I just went with butter and 2% milk, which is what I had. So, it's not completely to the specs on the box, but do people in Canada really use the non-hydrogenated margarine and skim milk? I doubt it. Um, another thing, the flavors that you can get of this are usually just cheese based um, there's original sharp cheddar three cheese uh, there's an alfredo as well uh, way back i think it was like 2014 i saw they actually had in the united states macaroni and cheese jalapeno with three e's and it's called three cheese jalapeno on the bottom um, 
and that one uh, is no longer available, of course. And there is also, uh, I did a review of this one, Macaroni and Cheetos, which I do not think is a craft item, but it's very similar. Uh, I just got the spirals instead of the macaroni noodles. And that one had a jalapeno flavor as well. So, jalapeno as a flavor boost is not really something too new or unusual for macaroni and cheese or craft dinner. But let's see. Here's what it looks like in the bowl. Uh, as you can see, it looks more like actual like dried or rehydrated jalapeno bits instead of this mess that really just looks like a bad Photoshop. Okay. You hear the macaroni noises? That's fine, you know it's good. Alright, here we go. Craft dinner with jalapeno flavor boost. Another weird thing. Well, that's actually pretty spicy. The instruction, the uh, nutritional information on a box of Kraft Dinner and on the back of the flavor boost thing, it'll tell you how big a serving size it is. It'll tell you the calories as sold and as prepared. But what it doesn't say is how many servings are in the box. So I can't tell well how much calories and stuff is in a whole box. Same thing with this package. It said the only good thing about this one is it says that uh, per a quarter package, which implies there's times four that gives you what's in here. This is tw adds 20 calories per quarter package, so that's 80 calories that you're adding with this flavor boost. Whereas this prepared and prepared again. It's going off of margarine and skim milk. 460 calories per three quarter cup. But this is actually the entire box in this bowl here. I'm not saying I'm going to eat the entire box, but it fit in the bowl. So, a couple things. The um, the jalapeno flavoring here definitely has that jalapeno flavor. It actually tastes like a pepper. Like uh, bell peppers have a sweet flavor to them. But jalapenos, they're not just spice. There's also a distinct jalapeno flavor. And I'm actually I'm picking that up. rip the ingredients half off on this one and the ingredients in this are sugar in the form of mal maltodextrin jalapeno pepper so real jalapeno soybean oil vinegar salt natural flavor so the second ingredient in the package is jalapeno pepper And I'm assuming the maltodextrin is really to hold all that together. Especially the oil and the vinegar. That's going to be held in the maltodextrin. The, uh, the little bits of jalapeno they actually have like a little bit of they're not huge, right? But when you bite into them, they actually taste like they've somehow soaked in some of the liquid. In this case, it'd be like milk or butter liquid. A little just got plumped up a little bit, and now you have like a little bit of a bite, like a little crunch.
This is a tasty flavor boost. Before I did this, I didn't do a, like a video review of it, but before I started this, this review a couple days ago, I actually made a box of this with no flavor boost so I could get kind of like a baseline uh, flavor from it. And I was actually kind of disappointed. Um, it uh, was on the bland side, and I, I wanted to say, like, not as good as the American box macaroni. And I did a little web searching, and people on Reddit have said that they've changed their recipe in the last five or so years um, in order to make it healthier, get rid of some artificial ingredients to make it more all natural. And people are saying that that change has made it so it doesn't taste as good. Although, lots of times, any type of change people can get upset about, so you don't know if that's just uh, a change bias or if it actually does taste different. I can tell you with this, at a flavor boost, the flavor is definitely boosted. you get a good amount of cheese, pepper, spice, all mixed up together. I did review um, my Mac and Cheetos review of the their jalapeno flavor before I did this. I gotta say it doesn't really compare, even though they're both jalapeno. This one really has a different experience, just because the jalapeno pieces in here give it a different texture. That was a spiral noodle, this is a macaroni noodle. The cheese is a little bit different. I actually like this one a lot better. I also reviewed, um, like I said before, Kraft had a three cheese jalapeno macaroni and cheese dinner box before, and I found someone who had uh, a YouTube page that actually reviewed it. There was actually a series of four. It was jalapeno, buffalo, chipotle, and herb and cream. I watched all four of them, and he didn't seem very... Excuse me, he didn't seem like he enjoyed it any better than regular. They kind of seemed like a, excuse me, just slight flavor differences. But I can tell you this flavor, after I add the boost, way different than it by itself. The jalapeno flavor comes through, has a really good amount of spice to it. And it's really good. There are six of these. And I'm going to be reviewing all six eventually. I have them. I have the boxes of macaroni. I'm going to try all six. I'm going to review them for you. This is the first one I'm doing. So far, so good. This is really tasty. What I'm interested in is because a jalapeno already has a good amount of spice. There's two other spicy ones. Are they going to be hotter? One for sure should be hotter. One might not be. But should be interesting. Hopefully it's not the uh, blow me away type of spice on that one. Because nobody wants that. But I am impressed. This one gives... I'm going to give a thumbs up to this one. Craft America. This one gets my approval. If you want to bring this to the United States, I would recommend my fellow countrymen to try it. Uh, it's available on eBay. You can get it shipped to you. I'm sure it will work just as well with regular Blue Box macaroni and cheese. I just wanted to be uh, kind of dumb for my channel like I typically am and get something from Canada to mix it with. But one for one. Very good. I'll enjoy it. 
And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed me making macaroni sounds. I hope you're looking forward to five more videos that will contain more macaroni sounds and five other different flavors of macaroni. So tasty. Like by giving a thumbs up to this video. Subscribe to the channel so you can see my other five videos where I do more macaroni and cheese flavors plus a wide variety of other things and we'll see you guys on the next video whenever that may be it's probably gonna be the next macaroni video though but until then bye